was a surprise when Northland basketball coach Mike Hilmer decided to leave the Lynx to become the new superintendent at Bellevue. But what a legacy Mike left behind after 33 years of coaching. Uh, it's going to be tough, you know, walking away, and uh, a lot of the kids have stopped in and said goodbye, so it's, it's been kind of tough. As Mike Hilmer cleaned out his office at North Lynn on the final day of school, the memories came flooding back. And oh, what great memories they were. Hilmer led the Lynx to a gaudy 234-9 record in the last nine seasons. That run included seven straight trips to the title game, winning three state championships. Time flies, as anybody knows that coaches, you, it's hard to enjoy it in the moment because you're always busy and you're, you're thinking about the next game, but just had great athletes. Um, I told people a long time ago, it took me 25 years to get to the state tournament, so making it eight years in a row has nothing to do with me. It has to do with the players that we're coaching, and we've been pretty fortunate. He expected the best on the court and off the court, so that was definitely very special. Mike shared two of those state titles with his dad, Bob who was a co-head coach and is the winningest high school basketball coach in the history of Iowa with 917 victories in 57 seasons. Uh, one of the most respected guys you'll ever meet. He's had one technical foul in his 50-some years of coaching, and it was the first year uh, they had the seatbelt rule where he couldn't stand up, and he just happened to stand up when he shouldn't have. Uh, a model of integrity, character, um, and I think that's another thing he helped bring to our program. You know, that's uh, a lot of people talk about how great a basketball players we've had, and uh, if you look at the kids we've had, it goes way beyond basketball, and I'm 100% believer that it started with the, the character of our kids. It probably that I've got to work with my dad and I know um, I told him all along uh, everything I've done uh, pretty much learned from him so I'm, I'm just kind of another reflection of a little Bob Helmer out there. Not only did Mike get to share those state titles with his dad he also enjoyed them with his two sons Jake and Austin who are also on those teams. People think that maybe is not that hard of a thing but it is it's very difficult um, we did a pretty darn good job, uh, especially Jake and I. We didn't really bring it home too much. Austin and I, our personalities are a little bit more similar, so sometimes we brought it home. But you know, watching them get better, and, and I could see all the behind-the-scenes uh, stuff that they did to get, get to where they were, and so that made it a little bit easier. I've really been very fortunate the last, this is the fifth year, uh, to be able to coach uh, Austin and Jake and, and to coach with Mike. And uh, it's uh, something I'll never forget and something I've, uh, I'll really value the rest of my life. Leaving for the superintendent job at Bellevue was not an easy decision. It's a very hard decision. Uh, I think a lot of people, you know, probably think, well, how could you leave and things like that. Uh, if I base success or, you know, whether I want to coach or not on wins and losses, I was 2-38 the first two years I coached, so I guess I would have, my career would have been short-lived. So um, the hard part is just going to be not being around the kids. The wins and the losses, that stuff uh, doesn't bother me. And I guess if Griff's taken over, it puts the pressure on him. He's got to win the state title or he's going to fall short. So It looks like the program will be in good hands. Longtime assistant coach Travis Griffith has applied for the head coaching job. I don't want to see the program die. I mean, it's pretty special what he's built here, and I've been a small part of that, getting a chance to coach with him. It's tough to say goodbye, and Mike has a lot of people to thank. I really want to thank North Lynn. It's been a great uh, community to work in and live in. Uh, we've been very fortunate. Uh, hundreds of people have reached out, and we, we can't thank them enough. It makes it, it, makes it feel uh, like, we've, like we've accomplished something while we're here. Best of luck, Mike. Thanks for everything, and Bellevue is lucky to have you. To the